First, insert the line cord into the AC power receptacle on the back panel of your system. Then into a properly grounded AC line receptacle. The patented ThermoTwees handpiece features an adjustable hinge and tip gap adjustment, which allow you to achieve perfect alignment of the tips. A critical feature for safe, rapid component removal. To confirm alignment of the handpiece, turn the tip gap adjustment thumb screw until the heaters are parallel. If the heater ends are even with each other, you can proceed with tip installation. If not, loosen the hinge screw half a turn with the tip tool. Then gently press both heaters against the tip tool itself until the heater ends are even with each other. Finally, tighten the hinge screw. The ThermoTwees is installed on the front panel of your Pace Sense Attempt system. First, align the connector key with the receptacle keyway and turn its locking ring fully counterclockwise. Now insert the connector key into the power receptacle until it stops. Then turn its locking ring fully clockwise to secure. When using multiple handpieces, colored markers are helpful to identify which handpieces are connected to which channels. We'll now review the proper method for installing tips into your ThermoTwees handpiece. To ensure proper fit, always install tips into your ThermoTwees when the heaters have reached an appropriate tip temperature. Setting the tip temperature will be discussed in detail later in Part 2. There are three basic methods for installing tips into your ThermoTwees, depending on their size and type. To install chip component tips, Insert the tip halves all the way into the heaters until they bottom out. Next, position tip ends so they meet precisely when the thermotwees handles are squeezed together. The heater set screws can be tightened very slightly so that the tips stay in position when being aligned. Then gently tighten the heater set screws to secure tips in place. For small PLCC tips, follow the same procedure. Make sure they have reached solder melt temperature before alignment and tightening of the heater set screws. For SOJ and connector tips, follow a similar procedure but first open the tip gap further apart and squeeze the tips against the sponge or fiber tool from the tip maintenance station to achieve proper spacing and alignment prior to final tightening of the set screws. The tip tool can also be used for this purpose. The tip should now be in alignment and parallel when brought together. For larger PLCC tips with alignment slots, make sure that the tips are fully inserted into the heaters. Then insert the tip alignment tool into the slots and bring the tips together like this. While continuing to hold the tips together, gently tighten the heater set screws. The tip should now be in perfect alignment. If necessary, loosen the hinge screw and readjust the tip's ends as described before. The tip gap adjustment lets you choose the proper spacing between the tips to suit your particular application. The tip gap must be wide enough to allow the tips to just pass easily over the component 
but narrow enough to avoid contact with adjacent components. The proper tip gap adjustment provides maximum convenience and safety, especially on high density circuit boards. Next, in part two, we'll learn how to select the proper tip for your particular application.